Welcome to our series of quick start guides designed to get you up and running fast. If you have a website, blog, or even an internal intranet, you can easily embed a form into a web page that will populate data into Long Jump. This is ideal for requests, inquiries, mini surveys, and lead capture. You don't have to contend with cryptic, unstructured emails. Instead, anybody who fills out a form will actually end up creating a record directly into the database. So let's start and see how, to, it, how easy it is to create these web forms. First, you choose the, web, the object that you want to be the basis of the web form. For example, here is a quote request object. So I'll click Customize. Then I'm going to click the Web Forms tab. And I'm going to open a new web form. Now any required fields that you've already specified uh, will already be listed but I want to add the rest of these and then I can reorder uh, you can see from the preview this is what it would look like as an embedded web form I'm going to actually reorder this and I'm going to click next and I actually even though I haven't specified it as a required field in the back end, I do want it on the front end. So please tell us more. So this helps me uh, filter out any bad information. Now, do I want to be notified or have one of my team members be notified when someone submits information on the form? I can do that through the notifications tab. I can create a uh, an texted email with the information of who this person is. From here I can actually embed fields directly into the email so it acts like a mail merge. And similarly I can create a message for the person who submitted it. Now I can save and generate code that I can embed into my web page. For simple forms with minimum customization, I can embed a script. And this script, I can paste it directly into my HTML code and it'll get picked up. And this form will appear directly within the HTML. I could also generate the form as raw HTML, then provide a URL to land on after they've completed the form. And then I take this all the HTML code and paste it directly in. And at this point, I can really customize it in terms of the look and feel uh, that's unique to my site. Now, whoever fills in the form, they'll be able to get the information directly into the database. And then of course once it's in the database you'll be able to track the information, report it on it, or create additional processes as you would any long jump data. 